Hello, how is everybody today? I am over here. This is a picture that I got today that came with this announcement. Activision Blizzard has announced Skylanders Academy new animated television series will debut on Netflix! I'm actually a little surprised. I thought it would be on Nickelodeon. Some channel that you would get more easily, more kids would be able to get to. Netflix seems like a weird place for this show. Because it's something you have to subscribe to, you have to pay a monthly f fee for. Which we have. Yes! It's good. Netflix is worth getting, by the way. There's so many original shows on there. But, blah, blah, blah. The first production, Activision Blizzard Studios, will premiere in the fall 2016, a couple months on Netflix. Quotes, don't need to read the quotes to you. The series follows the heroic adventures of the Skylanders team. A group of heroes with the unique elemental skills and personalities who travel the vast Skyland universe, protecting it from evildoers and showing the next wave of Academy cadets how to do things the Skylanders way. What you would expect. Um, Activision Blizzard launched its studio last year to create original content based on the company's intellectual property. Which means... If you're a fan of Activision Blizzard and anything they make, they'll probably be different shows based on different games. Skylar's Academy is the first production by Cher and studio co-president Nick Van Dyke. The two-season Netflix partnership is another important step in Activision Blizzard's strategy of enhancing its franchise and broadening their appeal. So, two seasons. I just looked on Dark Spyro, and it looks like there'll be 26 episodes. And usually the way Netflix works is this. Every episode will be up right away. It's not one a week. It's usually, boom. When they put up Daredevil Season 2, they all came up at the same time. All right, who are the voices? You can see Eruptor there in Spyro. Spyro looks like Spyro. Eruptor looks a little funny. Stealth Off looks even funny. I'll try to get a better shot of it for you. I have some pics from Dark Spyro. Alright, here we go. Produced under the supervision of showrunner Eric Rogers from Futurama. Skylar's Academy features the voices of Justin Long from Alvin and the Chipmunks Ask Me Anything as Spyro. So most of these are not the original actor, voice actors from the game, just so you know. So it's going to be a little different. Ashley Tisdale as Stealth Elf, Phineas and Ferb High School Musical. Jonathan Banks as Eruptor, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. And Norm MacDonald as Glumshanks. So Saturday Night Live, he's in a bunch of other things. He's a comedian. Funny dude. Additional voice talent includes... The Diamond Minecraft, which is funny, so it's a YouTuber. Who knows who he will be? Susan Sarandon, Daniel Wu, Parker Posey, James Hep Hepfield, Catherine O'Hara, Bobcat Goldway, Chris Diamantopoulos, Diane Reese, Harlan Williams, Harlan Williams, and Richard Horvitz, Horvitz, which you should know is Chaos. So Chaos is Chaos. I don't think they'll ever be Someone other than him is chaos. He must not want there to be someone else other than him. Sharon Van Dyke are joined by Sander Schwartz, Emmy Award winning producer of animated hits including The Batman, The Aquabat Super Show Justice League, New Frontier. Skylanders Academy is animated by the internationally acclaimed team TO Studio in France. Another quote. So there is that picture. Here is some more. And since... Hello! 
Yeah, you can see. Let me go down. Oh, that's a picture I really wanted to see. See, still thought it looks a little funny. And there's some other character by Jetpack. But there you go, Pop Fizz. Looks a little upset. <laughs> Pop Fizz is probably going to be the comedy in the show. Just what it looks like to me. There you go. Hopefully, that's the news you wanted. I'm a little disappointed it's on Netflix, but I have Netflix, so I'm okay. Let me know what you think. Audios.